Color is not just a pleasing aesthetic. It is an ingenious tool our brain employs to make sense of various light wavelengths hitting our eyes. Instead of grappling with numerical data that could theoretically represent colors, our brains simplify the process by assigning distinct color experiences to these wavelengths. This approach makes distinguishing differences in our environment easier and more intuitive. In our eyes, we have three types of specialized cells called cones, each designed to detect light within certain wavelength ranges. The sensitivity curves of these cones overlap but not excessively. This overlap is crucial, it allows for comparison between the responses of the different cones, while avoiding the transmission of ambiguous color information to the brain. The way our cones and brain work together to interpret color demonstrates the elegance and complex simplicity of human evolution. Instead of needing millions of distinct cone types, one for each possible light wavelength, we utilize just three. These cones detect overlapping ranges of wavelengths and send this information to the brain. The interplay of these three cone types resides in color vision, making humans with no color vision deficiencies neurotypical trichromats. It's the blending and comparing of signals from these cones that allows us to experience the rich and diverse color palette that we take for granted in our everyday lives. Breaking the boundaries of trichromatic vision While the color palette experienced by neurotypical trichromats is indeed impressive, it only represents a fraction of the potential color experiences. Our three-cone system allows us to perceive a wide array of colors, but there are theoretical possibilities beyond our natural reach. In my earlier videos, I've shared details about special glasses designed to block specific portions of the trichromatic color spectrum. The purpose of these glasses is to emphasize the differences between colors that might originally appear quite similar to us. The augmentation of our color vision is made possible by highlighting these otherwise overlooked distinctions. And this being said, hello there, I'm Rukwai. Today I want to introduce you to another pair of innovative glasses that I've crafted. These unique glasses are engineered to differentiate about twice as many colors between red and green, potentially granting the wearer a type of artificial yellow tetrachromacy. While this version of yellow tetrachromacy doesn't quite match the richness of true biological tetrachromacy, which would involve a fourth dimension of color, it does bring us a step closer. By significantly enhancing the color spectrum between red and green, these glasses give us a taste of what it might be like to possess functional tetrachromacy within this specific color range. This enhancement of our color perception comes about by circumventing binocular redundancy and introducing impossible color combinations to our color vision. These experiences are made possible through the use of special multi-band pass optical color filter lenses which allow us to perceive a broader array of colors than our natural capabilities would typically allow. Exploiting binocular redundancy for enhanced color perception. Firstly, let's delve into the concept of binocular redundancy. This principle refers to the considerable similarity in the visual information captured by our two eyes. If one eye were to be lost, the other could still sufficiently manage our daily vision needs. Certainly. There would be reductions in the field of view and depth perception, but the color experience would remain fundamentally the same. This is due to our eyes' almost identical color perception capacities. Binocular redundancy offers a fascinating opportunity. It allows for the manipulation of color perception by intervening in the vision of one or both eyes. By applying color filters over one eye, we can significantly shift color perspectives and alter color contrasts depending on the colors filtered out. For instance, reducing the amount of green perceived makes yellow appear more reddish. If one eye perceives an original yellow, while the other views a more reddish variant, our brain has the potential to merge these two distinct color experiences into a single, impossible color combination with enough training. The concept of a true red-yellow, for example, is not naturally existent in our color perception spectrum. However, by strategically eliminating specific sections of the visible color spectrum, we can create this new, distinct color that's a fusion of both red and yellow, yet unique from a common orange. Effectively, we're bypassing the inherent limitations of biological color vision and tricking our brain into perceiving a greater variety of colors than naturally possible. This approach reimagines our eyes as two separate but collaboratively working vision systems rather than a single, inseparable unit. With this viewpoint, we can leverage binocular redundancy to explore the perception of impossible color combinations and significantly expand our potential for color discrimination. Creating impossible color combinations with filters. To begin, let's consider how we might induce impossible color combinations. This is achievable by using color filters, which precisely exclude certain parts of the visible color spectrum, resulting in perceptible shifts and distortions in color. In this context, perceptible means that an impossible combination of red and yellow is more obvious than a combination of red and orange. By judiciously selecting two color filters, you can push primary colors like red and green to impossible levels of vibrancy. 
This not only intensifies these primary colors, but also expands the color range between them, transforming what were previously barely distinguishable colors into a rich spectrum of distinct hues. With red becoming impossibly red and green impossibly green, the colors in between adjust to this newly enhanced color mission not. This is because our brain's primary role is to compute the differences in the information sent by our eyes in real time. This shows just how flexible our brain is in its ability to adapt and process new forms of visual stimuli. Constructing a new pair of specialized glasses, let's turn our attention to the special glasses I've put together, which leverage multi-band pass optical color filter lenses. The two color filters that I've utilized were extracted from specialized glasses provided by Infitech, a company known for their prowess in 3D technology and corresponding filter glasses. The two models I chose were the triple band pass filter glasses, or TBP glasses for short, and the dual color 3D glasses, or dual color glasses for short, each equipped with unique triple and double band pass filters. After long and careful tests and considerations, I selected the right lens from each type of glasses, the TBP and dual color glasses. These were then reassembled using a self-engineered lens protecting magnetic device, resulting in a new pair of glasses. This allows for easy assembly and disassembly, making the process of swapping out different lens types effortless. While this design is quite ingenious, it's sadly still not the final one because having strong magnets so close to your brain over a long period of time may not be safe. Here's where it gets interesting. The right lens of the TBP glasses intensifies the differentiation between red, orange and yellow, albeit with the trade-off of making yellowish green less discernible from green. Conversely, the right lens of the dual color glasses enhances the contrast between reds and greens, but in turn blurs the distinction between gold, orange and red, rendering them as a less distinguishable reddish hue. The result is that these lenses complement each other in the spectrum between red and green, thereby offering a wider range of color distinction in this range. However, it's crucial to note that using two color filters instead of one does come with some trade-offs. For instance, some colors are lost in the conversion process. A singular filter leaves the color perception of one eye unaltered, hence offering better discernment of the original color. Yet, it is with the combination of two filters that we can achieve an expansive color shift and an array of impossible color combinations. So while we may temporarily find it challenging to distinguish between colors such as green and turquoise, we can simply remove the glasses to compare the different modes of color vision. This minor inconvenience is a small price to pay for the enhanced color experience. Everyday life with enhanced color vision, my personal perspective. Moving on, I share my personal experience and my unique feelings, or qualia, of this novel color perception. Please bear in mind, the images and videos that will follow are merely representations of what I perceive through these extraordinary glasses. A smartphone camera, despite its technological advances, cannot perfectly mimic the human eye's perception. Still, it offers a good approximation. In terms of color detailing, flowers of red, orange, yellow, lime and green have unveiled an array of colors that was, to me, previously unseen. A flower that seemed just yellow before now appears to be a canvas of varying shades of reds, oranges, yellows, limes and greens. It feels as if I can discern about twice as many shades between red and green. The finest gradations in these yellowish hues are now more apparent to me. Even wood, which typically falls between orange and yellow in the color spectrum, now unfolds into shades of red, green and everything in between. And without these glasses, these color hues seem somewhat dull and desaturated in comparison. I now perceive colors in shadows that would typically appear yellowish, but now shimmer in different shades of orange and yellow. In practical terms, this enhanced color vision has even facilitated mushroom hunting in the forest, especially when it comes to yellow and orange fungi. All things in the yellow range now have a heightened prominence, and I can distinguish between two supposedly identically colored yellow or orange objects as being quite different shades. Another vivid example I experienced was comparing the orange hue of a flower with an orange I painted in a picture. While I could identify the orange from the flower within the painted colors without the glasses, with the glasses on, I could not find a matching shade. These are just a few of the many intriguing examples I've noticed, and the exploration continues. Ultimately, everything we see is imbued with color, and color is a marvel in its own right. Having the ability to discern more colors simply amplifies the beauty of the world around us. This enhanced view of the world is just another layer on the rich, colorful spectrum that is our visual experience. Closing words, embracing an enhanced color spectrum. To sum up our colorful journey today, we went on a quest to extend the horizons of our color vision, a journey that took us beyond the three primary colors we're accustomed to, unveiling a whole new world of hues between red and green. We took our first steps by unraveling the concept of binocular redundancy, highlighting how our binocular vision can be leveraged to perceive impossible color combinations, simply by manipulating our visual input. 
Progressing from theory to practice, we assembled a pair of unique glasses using specialized lenses from Infitex Triple Band Pass and Dual Color Glasses. These unique glasses proved to be an ingenious device, tuning our vision to appreciate a wider spectrum of reds and greens, albeit with some trade-offs. These new perspectives on color, whether in the form of impossibly colored flowers or generally more differently shaded yellow objects, can create an enriching and delightful visual experience for all of us. Color vision is not just a biological function, but an intimate phenomenon between the world and our minds, an experience that literally paints our reality. So, the next time you look at a rainbow or appreciate the subtle hues in a sunset, remember the incredible journey of color vision we've gone on today and make the most out of it. After all, as we've discovered today, our perception of color is as boundless as our curiosity. So, stay tuned and subscribe in order to fetch new ways to experience life. I am Ukwai and I will show you how to reshape and enhance your sensory experiences because it is nothing but our senses that connect us to this world. Thanks for watching.